What is up guys? Welcome, 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 and thank you. Today is a special day. Whether you're watching from grandma's house or across the world, I am so glad that you decided to join us today as we get to celebrate Easter. Easter is one of the biggest days for us as Christians, and today we're gonna dive into why. What it is uh, that's so important and what happened on Easter that made this day so special. So today, we're not gonna talk anymore. We're gonna jump straight into our story. Let's check it out. Today, guys, we're gonna be reading a good bit of scripture because today is really important to understand the full story of what Jesus did for us. We're gonna talk about his crucifixion and ultimately the reason Easter is so special. So you guys stick around and let's read some parts of Mark. We're gonna be in Mark chapter 15 and 16. If you guys wanna read along or I'll have it up on the screen today for you guys to read as well. So let's dive in and see. So basically, the story that, that's happening right now is that Jesus has been arrested. Uh, the people uh, over the temple, right, the Pharisees and the Sadducees and a bunch of the religious people of the time, right, all of the Jews had um, basically made up a bunch of lies about who Jesus was, what he was saying, and they wanted him dead. They wanted to kill Jesus, and that was their plan. So they tricked a bunch of people, lied to a bunch of people, and eventually got what they wanted. You see, Jesus was tried by Pilate, and Pilate said, I don't find this man guilty at all. A Roman uh, governor essentially was what Pilate was, and he was over some of these rulings, and he said, Jesus is not guilty, but the people continued to chant. And that's what we're going to pick up right here, and it says, The soldiers nailed him to the cross and divided his clothes and threw dice to decide who would get each piece. A sign announced the charges against him, and it read, the king of the Jews. The people passing by shouted abuse, shaking their heads in mockery. Ha! Huh, look at you now, they yelled at him. You said you were going to destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days? Well then, save yourself and come down from the cross. You see, Jesus was crucified, and not only that, he was humiliated. They laughed and mocked him. They made fun of him. And the reality is, at any point, Jesus could have done something about it. But he knew that there was more. So let's keep reading. It says, At noon, darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. Then at three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lema sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Then, in verse 37, it says, Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain in the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. So, that's what happens. Right here in verse 42, it says, This all happened on Friday on the day of preparation, the day before Sabbath. As evening approached, Joseph of Arimathea took a risk and went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Pilate couldn't believe that Jesus was already dead, so he called for the Roman officers and asked if he had died. And the Roman officers confirmed. So, Jesus was confirmed to be dead. You see, here's the thing about the Romans. They were really good at one thing. It was killing people. The Romans were not good people. So they knew Jesus was dead. If a Roman official says they're dead, they're dead. This wasn't just an accident. They didn't just pretend Jesus was dead. In another account, it says that they thrust a spear through his side. Jesus was not dead alive. And so Joseph brought a long sheet of linen cloth then took Jesus's body down from the cross, wrapped it in the cloth and laid it in a tomb. And then a large stone was rolled in front of the entrance. So that's it guys. That's our dark start to our story. You see, this day is called Good Friday. And you might be thinking, why is it good? Jesus was crucified, killed. He died on this day. What can be good about this day? Um, but it's because there was another day coming. That was Easter Sunday. That is the day we celebrate now. Good Friday was the beginning, but it was not the end for Jesus' story. So let's keep reading. We're going to be in verse 16. And it says, Saturday evening when the Sabbath ended, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome went out and purchased burial spices so they can anoint Jesus' body. They wanted to prepare Jesus' body to be buried totally. So early on Sunday morning, just at sunrise, they went to the tomb, and on the way, they were asking each other, who's going to roll away the stone for us 
the entrance of the tomb. But as soon as they arrived, they looked up and saw that the stone had already been rolled away. When they entered the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in white robes sitting on the right side, and the women were shocked. But the angel said, don't be alarmed. You're looking for Jesus of Nazareth. He was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead. Look, this is where they laid his body. Now go and tell his disciples, including Peter, that Jesus is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there just as he told you before he died. And the women fled the tomb, trembling and bewildered, and they said nothing to anyone because they were too frightened. You see, guys, Jesus had resurrected. Jesus had died. He had been buried. He had been confirmed dead. But on the third day, he had been resurrected. There's different accounts of this resurrection in the story, so I encourage you to go read them in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and see the big story that Jesus had laid out and the great news of his resurrection. And you may be asking yourself, what about his resurrection is so important? Well, guys, I've got a great example for you, so check this out. So, guys, once again, why is it so important that Jesus died and, and was raised again on the third day? Well, because we have this little problem called sin. You see, guys, sin is dirty. It's, it's ugly. It's, it's unclean. And it entered the world very early on when Adam and Eve chose to eat that apple and disobey God instead of obeying him and, and loving him. And, and originally we were clean, right? And we were pure, but because sin entered the world, we are now dirty. You see, sin spreads to us as well. I mean, it makes us dirty and it makes us ugly. And, and we may wonder why we do the things that we do, right? Why are we unkind? Why are we rude? Why are we disrespectful? And why are people the same to us? Why do they do these things to us? Well, it's because of the problem of sin. And sin runs rampant in our world. So the reason Jesus' death and resurrection is so important is because when Jesus died, sin tried to defeat him, right? And for a second, it looked like it did, right? He was dead. He was gone. He was buried in the grave. And everyone that knew him thought that he was gone. But here's the reality. As you can see, Jesus defeated sin when he died on the cross. And not only died, but on that third day when he rose back to life, he defeated the power of sin and then gave us the ability to defeat it through him as well. You see, guys, we go from this dirty, dark sin to a clean and pure person because of Jesus entering our lives. You see, Jesus clears us of all the sin, wipes it all away, and makes us new. We had this ugliness inside of us, but because of his resurrection on the third day and Easter, the reason we're celebrating today, because of that, we are now clean. And that, everyone, is why his death and his resurrection, that's why Easter is so important. So everyone, now we know. When someone asks why Easter is so important, we can tell them it's because it's the day where Jesus defeated sin. He defeated it in our lives and he defeated it for everyone. All we have to do is ask. All we have to do is say, I accept you, Lord, into my heart. So I want to encourage you guys, if you have these questions, if you want to know more, ask a parent, ask a trusted guardian or a teacher, or maybe ask somebody at your church. And just remember, Jesus died so that we could have life in him. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Easter, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.